Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have the Wonder 360 budget camera. But first, I would like to congratulate and announce the winner of the VK World S8 giveaway. And the winner of this giveaway is Paul Williams. Hi Paul, if you're watching this, then please get in touch so we can arrange to get this device shipped out to you ASAP. I'll also post the results on my social media pages as well, so the word does get around. Okay, so back to the Wonder 360. This is a budget 360 camera. It does look very much like the Samsung Gear 360. This you can get for around about £110, which is around about $159. And there are links in the description below and the links you do use, you will get a 10% discount using my links. Or if you don't use my links, then you've just put geeky stuff in the coupon code, you'll get your 10% discount. So the packaging is nicely well presented, nicely packaged. On the back here, you can also notice there is an app called Wonder 360. So download that app and you can connect directly to the camera and view videos and pictures from there. Here are some of the specs, 4K, 3K video, 4K uh, photos, real-time in-camera stitching as well, so you don't need no uh, sort of third-party software. You can also go live, live streaming directly from here. Let me open it up. Okay, and there we go. Very, very well presented. Don't need that, don't eat it. Let's get it out. Uh, it's a nice weight to that and straight away although it is quite an affordable budget camera it doesn't feel cheap so there's the front let's peel this off nice so it looks like you have a digital display there at the bottom that looks much like a recording button as well there's the front camera and around the back we have the rear camera the little hole there must be a microphone. There's your Wi-Fi button to turn Wi-Fi on. And must be another microphone at the, at the top there. Could, could be a speaker though. On the side, have a, the menu button there and the back and power button at the bottom. Ah, cool, at the bottom there you can mount onto sticks. And can I mount it on here? Yeah, cool. That's good. Very good. Really, really love the design on this. Very, very clean. Very clean indeed, guys. Splendid work. Yeah, looks very, very smart. On the side there, here you can just see a compartment and within that, you can have a micro SD card and a micro USB cable for charging, I'd imagine, and transferring of data. Okay, so let's turn it on. The power button's just here. Keep your finger on that. And it says, hello. Okay, so it's notifying us that there's no SD card in there at the moment. We also have battery indicator there, which is low battery. Seems to have Wi-Fi there as well. And there's something at the top left, I'm not sure what that is. Not entirely sure what that is just yet. Oh, so you can click mode button, time-lapse mode, 60 FPS, photo mode. Let's pop an SD card in there. Okay, there's now an SD card in the camera. And it's given us a number on there, 2233. So I'm guessing that is just a how much time we have, recording time. That's recording at the moment. Let's stop that. Okay, let's have a quick look then. Well, should we get in the box? Okay, a user manual. What's in here? Oh, just a user manual. Okay. Another box. This must just be Cables, quite a few cables in here actually. 
So, your micro USB cable. You also get an adapter, micro USB to a 3.5 mil socket. You also get this little accessory here, and that can be attached to the bottom of the camera there. So some nice accessories there, all brilliant white, very, very clean. And you must admit, it does look very smart. So the Wi-Fi on the camera is on at the moment. I've downloaded the app on the, on the smartphone. And that Pano, P-A-N-O, that is the Wi-Fi you need to connect directly to the camera. And the password is really secure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Authenticating, connected. Okay, so if we go back to the app, which is here, Wonder 360, let's have a quick look to see what we get. It says at the top there, camera connected. Preparing for preview. There we go. And you can pan around. Fantastic. Slight delays, and you can click record from here. That is now recording. Great, so you can control quite a few things from the app here. So you can change, you can use a gyroscope on your phone to move around like that. And you can change the viewing angles and stuff as well and other strange settings. But it looks pretty cool, pretty cool device and quite cheap as well. The battery is 1000 milliamps, so it'll be interesting to see how long the, uh, the battery actually lasts. Let's stop the recording. But as always, I'll go away and test this uh, device and I'll uh, feedback very, very soon. That's it guys then, if you have any questions, please comment below. Like I said, links are in the description if you wanna take a look at this device. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, thanks for watching.